by the time I was finding out those guys had almost taken me to a bad place walikuwa karibu wanimalizie biashara yangu I think that was in 2018 or something and mind you these are people you know I had trained I you know I had really put a lot of invest, investment on them but anyway they were about 15 employees so it so was like it was cartel. even a whole it was a cartel by the way that is one thing I even train my students on because I've been there done that so I know this what happens in this business yeah so even my students when they open their own salons I I tell them be very careful with employees do this do that you know I tell them what to do and how to you know protect themselves from this kind of people mm. because the same employees once I chuja them are the ones that went outside there to you know they will always uh, say bad things about your company about you about they will just be malicious and do everything mm. you know mm. I also lost a lot of clients in the oh. midst of all this so that was a really hard time for me you know Sometimes I get emotion. <laughs> really. I really get emotional when I when I think about, you know, I would have just closed down in 2018. My business really, you know, it went down. And before I let them go, I, I had to sit down, talk to my mom. You know, I was scared. To, to like lose these people, you know? <sighs> so trust the process. One day your life is gonna change. Keep on believing. You will be better than before. So trust the process. Hello, good morning and welcome to today's episode of Inspire Global and my people I'm coming to you straight from For Inner's Beauty and I'm pretty sure you guys this name is very familiar to majority of you definitely an amazing makeup artist has her own hairline and she just launched an incredible retail shop where she is selling this beautiful uh, makeup product and what stood out for me in her story is the fact that what do you do guys when the people you trust most with your business wameamua saindi osaya kukumaliza how do you bounce back and of course we'll be hearing also from where she started until akafika hapa so let me know by the end of this show whether you will be inspired because i know definitely you are going to be inspired and just to remind you guys the way i keep telling you there is no shame in hard work na kila mtu lazima aanze paha and so this is today's episode of Inspire Global with Foina and Tendeni Kazi Sawa. My name is Foina and I am an entrepreneur, yeah. a business mogul. Um, a tutor, I yeah. train yeah. students mm -hmm. on makeup and business education. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I am also <clears throat> um, a sister, a friend. Yeah, yet yeah. to be a mother, maybe one day. Maybe one day. <laughs> yes. is, is it something you are looking forward For to? For sure, yes. Yeah. Yes. What were Janta kukuliza zile maswali? Ah, wananiulizanga, but you know, it's it's me to be ready. Mm. Uh, and I have a plan for it, so uh, yeah. How pangwingu? Si pangwingu <laughs> at all. <laughs> yes. Uh, so you are a tr you are a tutor. Yes. So you are everything makeup, mm -hmm. hair, mm -hmm. beauty. Yes. And you look the part. Thank you. Yeah. Thank so you. like you, you know, honestly, you mm -hmm. look the part. Thank you. I tried. <laughs> Mini yeah. Kotuapa. So mm -hmm. I, I uh, it's it's really nice to finally have a chance to sit with you. And Thank I was you. telling you earlier before we mm. started this conversation, yeah. I believe my shows are ordained. Yeah. And I have been looking forward mm -hmm. because you know there is foina. Yes. When people hear foina, there is 
Yes. For enough, for enough. Yes. But I don't think even the world knows your story. Yeah. And I don't think you just woke up one day mm-hmm. and you got yourself here. Yeah. So maybe if you could take us through your story, mm-hmm. growing up until yeah. you getting to call yourself a business mogul, you know, an <laughs> entrepreneur, yeah. a Twitter, mm-hmm. all those, all those things before you got mm-hmm. now there. Yes. Who is for enough? I'm just a simple girl. Um, I'm an only child of my mom. Yeah. And I grew up in Thika and, you know, growing up, I also lived with my grandma (laughs) and my mom. My mom got me when she was very young. So she was still doing uh, business with my grandma. Yeah. They were doing business together. Mm-hmm. So we, it was like I had two mothers, you know, the grandma and the mom. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so uh, growing up, um, also I'd say I, di- I didn't grow with my father. But at some point in life, my mom got remarried. Mm-hmm. So yeah, I, I don't have siblings, but I have cousins that yes. I grew up with. Yeah. And my cousins were like my siblings. Yeah. So usually I don't feel like I was alone or, you know, grew without uh, sisters and brothers. My cousins were always there. So, yeah, I was not a lonely kid. Yeah. yeah you I were surrounded. Yes. You had family. Yes. Yeah. All round. All round. Yeah. Uh, mm-hmm. In school, what mm-hmm. kind of a student were you? <laughs> you know, you said you were shy yeah. and stuff. Were you yes. shy even in school? Yes, I was kind a bit shy, <laughs> but I always, you know, used to find myself in trouble here and there. Oh. Not just saying, you know, shida ina kupatanga too, you know. So yeah, I was a bit um, shy, but I used to have a lot of friends in school. Like yeah. I was that person mm-hmm. also, like with my friends. I used to have friends who used to, like nearly kwa na you know, but um, yeah, with the teachers, it was like one problem after the other, <laughs> maybe, and it's small problems, Lynn, yes. you know, like in school, especially primary school, wana kutafti anga tushida tudogo. Yeah. So like one time, umepatikana zi na lipstick kwa dom, umepatikana na eye pencil, ya ni hizo ndo shida nili kwa najipata nazo. I was mm. so passionate about makeup. So yeah. You are those kids who would carry lipstick uh, to school? Yes, even do makeup on my fellow students fellow students yeah. in class when I put two apple eyebrows, you know. Nili kwa mbaka na watobu wa mapua na masikio. Really? I was that kid. Uh-huh. But yeah, I yeah, in short, nili kwa napenda urembo mm-hmm. since way back in mm-hmm. school. Mm-hmm. And also my mom, you know, she, was, she also um, used to model in, back in her days. She Your was mom? like very gorgeous. Yes. She used to model. I mean, we are short people, but you know. You we got are, it. We got <laughs> it. <laughs> Ku model si ya watu warefu peke yake. Yes. So yeah, she also used to be a lover of um, makeup. Mm-hmm. I remember, you know, I used to steal her products and go with them to school school ama when i get home i'd like paka her friend lovely and you remember the green lipstick yes. ukipaka ina kwa red yes. that one uh. i used to also steal that one <laughs> i pencil mm. like i used to love the straight thin eyebrows you know the kaline that kaline yeah. i even have a photo of myself on that kaline I used to put dark eyeliner and gloss. Like that was me. Uh-huh. I was obsessed with makeup. I was literally obsessed with beauty products. Yes. So it's something that I have grown loving. It's uh-huh. not, you know, something that I, I just, you know, just grew and decided I want to do makeup. Mm. It's something I have grown loving. Yeah. Talk to me about life in high school. Oh my God. Life in high school was the the hardest life ever, I think. I think my life in high school prepared me for the person I am today. But um, for the most part, I think I enjoyed life be, uh, from form one, form two, it was a bit cutthroat. Mm-hmm. Form three, form four, at least it, it got better. Mm. Because una jile mnaambiwa watu wa Nairobi mnaringa like it was like group ya watu ushago because me I went to Nushago high school yeah what's the name I'm not mentioning names Lin Hatusongi Ah Lin Hatusongi you know I interviewed <laughs> someone <laughs> who said what is the name of Eric's high school he said uh, <laughs> It's because uh, I don't understand how we give our school such names. names. Yeah. Ka- Ka- like, yeah. you know, like, so, yeah, uh, mine was Karoti Girls. Karoti? Yes. Karoti. Yes. Karoti. Yes. So, Karoti. Karot. <laughs> <laughs> You can imagine. Yeah. It was a good, that's a good name, though. I mean, it was a 
it was a provincial school yeah. we used to actually um nini um, compete with schools like yes. you know even kabare it was a good school yeah. and you know it had it had nice teachers it had nice infrastructure it was a really yes. proper school yes. but the cutthroat in that school i mean i enjoyed my primary schools more than my high school mm. but when i look back i feel like i appreciate my high school days because more. they you know they got me into this person that i am today yeah. i think i have tougher skin i understand i know how to deal with situations yes. sometimes i feel like I just know how to handle things. You handle yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah. So life in high school, I'd say it wasn't that bad. Well, what's the worst thing that hmm. happened to you in high school that made you say, uh, "Wait, well, hey, Uku, I this mean, is hell you know, on it's earth. just that thing of 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 you know, you just being the person you are, but people want to view you as, like in our schools. I'm telling you to go to my mix. So kuna watu wa, wametoka that area ya yeah. Ushago, then kuna hawa wengine wa Nairobi. So akukwa na any neutral people like mm. wa, so watu wa, wa Nairobi tulikuwa like wanachukiwa sana. <laughs> you know that yeah. thing. I think it's most high school if not all. Yeah. Yeah, but that is one thing that really, you know, didn't cut it for me. I just felt like people should, you know, just have some kind of harmony yeah. and not just want to like oh being groups yeah yeah so and and that's something i've seen also in life you know even with with a lot of things so yeah mm -hmm. that's the one thing i didn't like yes. in school eh masomo tulikuwa tunapenda chemistry ah chemistry was my CRE. favorite by the way oh yeah ai kwani ulikuwa unajua no, you I'm, just I'm, mentioned i just i just guessed stuff honestly um my teacher mr miano i have never forgotten him was my favorite teacher chemistry mm. and then there was Yari um, was the deputy yeah i loved physics even though i didn't perform the best in physics but it used to be my favorite mm -hmm. yeah but chemistry number one. yeah hesabu eh hesabu kidogo tricky yeah. na mwalimu alikuwa mkali pia so hesabu yeah. was not my favorite yeah but tulikuwa tu tunangangana yeah mulingangana tulingangana oh, that's nice <laughs> yeah. you know like when when you're in high school yeah. that's when also the kichwa ngumu comes in yeah. you know you go home your mom mm -hmm. is telling you this and you're like where's in yambia like uh, are, were there those moments a where lot a lot if my mom was sitting next to me right now she would give you the a whole story of how i think i was home every two weeks because of but it was really petty things when i look back like oh maybe ume patikana na you know like those products i'm telling yes. you the beauty products yeah. i feel like it was really petty mm. and really not worth it to like you know send me home after every every Two weeks. yeah mm. <laughs> yani the problems i landed myself in were just some petty stuff yeah. that i personally would never you know mm. let someone you know be expelled or suspended mm -hmm. yeah but we moved mm. anyway we yeah. moved we survived yeah but, and my mom was honestly the best you know the best person ever kuna times that alikuwa na ni encourage someone sengine anamwambia me i'm not going back to that school mommy she's like okay carry your box your mattress your everything i'll transfer you you know but opening day unajikuta umerudi tu na vitu zako because she's like yeah because she's like you know also getting schools and then that hassle yeah and you know even when you transferring they will still check what got you suspended mm. into that other school so mm. yeah it was just such things yeah yeah but i survived high school i'm glad and you know got into college did my mass communication by the way i did mass com in college you did? and journalism oh wow yes so i did that for yeah i, I even graduated it was just like a college in town yeah mm -hmm. is my institute yes and then after institute i went to work i mean i went for my attachment in ayani estate there mm -hmm. was a small radio station called pamoja fm mm -hmm. so like pamoja fm was was good for me i used to read news like those human interest news so when i tell you i have been watching your stories the way you do them and for other people like yeah. those are things that really interest me and those are things i all, also wanted to do in mm -hmm. life mm -hmm. but i was also very a shy a very shy person so i knew right from the get go that that is not my line mm -hmm. like whenever i saw cameras i used to get so anxious 
so I was like, ah, I don't need this. I mm. am a baby girl. I did not come to suffer. Oh, well, why me... suffer? Why are we suffering? <laughs> why am I suffering? For what? For what? Yeah. So now then I decided to leave. <laughs> okay, Pamoja, I did. We collected news. These are human stories. I mean, it's in Kibera, so yeah. you understand there's a lot going on happening in the slums and stuff. So after Ayani, I was um, I went to work for some company for tracking vehicles. Mm. So I was working in a control room and yeah. you know picking calls the whole day. Like people want to know. Like Kitambo, the tracking uh, was like you will call. I tell you where your vehicle is nowadays. And at least you can check on your phone and be like, I can see my my vehicle is in Naivasha. Mm. You know. Mm. So a lot of um, owners of the vehicles used to be very. Um, you know, they used to be very disappointed with the frustrated rather with the drivers. Because you'd find mtu wa mepiga ni minamuambia gari yako yiko naivasha. Kumbe driver wa mepiga yiko mali maybe nyeri. You know, so you're there fighting and the driver has lied. So it was a lot of issues in the, with the company. I worked there for about three, four months. Yeah. Then slowly I um, started getting on Instagram, started watching people like Mudoni, like those Hey, those days we didn't have many makeup artists. Kina Steve Kobe, those are the ones that were there at that mm -hmm. time. Mm -hmm. So I just started uh, doing makeup for you know friends, family. Um, so one time I did for a wedding of a friend of a friend, and they paid me some good money. Oh, what good money? Yes. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> That's good, good money. money is relevant, but my friend that time, yes. trust me, it was good money. Uh, how much like in that weekend, about? I think I made around say twenty eight thousand. Ah, that's good money. Which year? So <laughs> that was I think around uh, 2014. So it was I, I think about eight bridesmaids yes. and a bride. Yeah. So you charge I think at a two k or two five or something like yeah. that. You know. So yeah, I did that and then I was like, ah, me, I'm done with this tracking company thing. I think makeup is now a thing. So I went and talked to my mom. My mom was like, no, 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 no. You cannot just quit your job because of something that, you know, she didn't actually understand that time that at he, what is this makeup thing? How are you making money from it? You your know, mom did not. My even own think... mom did not understand how that was going to play for me. So she's like, ah, ah. You continue working. Kwanza, this job, you know, umeipata na shida. You know those days where you're really struggling to find a job. Did you track? Like track, yeah. looking for um, jobs and dropping luckily, and stuff? Um, luckily, this job I got because I knew uh, my friend, mm. the mom, knew the boss to mm. that company. So mm. they needed someone mm -hmm. and they hired me. Yeah. So it was just a recommendation. So mm -hmm. I believe in recommendations and mm. that's why I, I always push even my students, my friends, like recommendations are they uh, work they they really do yeah, yeah yeah so eventually i started makeup um and i started like now freelancing proper you know trying to get people to you know so i went and opened a small i actually got a station like this one from a salon in mm. town mm. i started working from the station um i remember i started doing nails first so i started doing nails then i trained with some guy um, a very good mentor of mine called Sam, or Sam Nails. I will never forget. So he trained me on nails. I started doing nails. I did, like, imagine you metoka training, then unaingia job immediately. Mm. So nails ili kwa tricky, because people would come back to me, nail imengoka <laughs> after two days, you know. So I was tired of nails. Then I said, let me do makeup. So now I just decided to stick to makeup. Mm. Then I was doing makeup, makeup opened a small studio, Upper Halingam. Mm. So my friend was doing photography. Mm -hmm. My friend Leo, he had a studio in Halingam Plaza. Yeah. So he gave me a small room there. He rented me out a small room. Mm -hmm. I put my makeup stuff there. So I was doing his uh, client's makeup yes. as they do the photo shoot. Yeah. So there is, I feel, where I started growing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because he already had a bit of clientele. Mm. Also with my clientele, mm. Instagram was booming and, you know, we started getting clients. Then, and first, by the way, yeah. I started in the house before I went to, to Harlingham. Mm. So by the time I was launching my business, I was like, 
yani clients wamekuzidi sasa kwa kwa hao i need a bigger space mm-hmm. so that is when now I, i launched my business in 2016 yeah yeah and that was i would say after two years after two years so between yeah. 2014 14. and 2016 yes. you are busy calculating risk mm-hmm. should i yeah. should i not yes. you get well, what, mm-hmm. why is that period important in that period business? is important lean because i think that is your make or break period as in i feel like that is when you know i met all these clients i was able to build a clientele i was able to build a business for myself and i also encourage my students that you can never be an overnight success there has to be that journey appreciate the journey you will go far that way mm-hmm. so that period was important for me because even by the time i was opening this space you know you have a lot of bills first of all you have a whole rent to deal with you have you have many issues employees mm-hmm. So at that time I felt ready to open. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 And then 20, 2016 here mm-hmm. we come. Yeah. You decide I'm going, you yeah. know, I'm yeah. coming in hot. I'm coming in hot. Uh- <laughs> my mom was there to support me. Yeah. My family, my aunt, one of my aunts also came through for me. I acknowledge that. My friends came through, you know, my family. So yeah, I was I was I had the full support mm. of everyone. Yeah. So that's how I was like, you know, you you feel super pumped when you have support. Mm. Then I just went full blown and opened and everyone knew about me yeah. and people were like, "Who is this girl? Where is she from?" Like she's just an overnight success, you know. They didn't see my struggle, but hey, here we are. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. To see mom finally come through and say, "Ah, mm-hmm. my daughter go yeah. on, mm-hmm. give you her blessings." Yeah. How was that like for you? It was a proud moment for me mm. and I was just happy like to see that kind of support but you see that, um the the best thing about it was my mom tried helping me even from the jump you know and when a parent is really trying to help but they don't see any fruit somehow they don't see seriousness or consistency they are like ah this one's just wasting my time my mm. money you know mm. so even my mom had those moments where she'd maybe give me like some money start a business then it would fail But at this point when I showed her like you know and I feel like it's because I followed my passion this is something I love doing even you know it's I don't feel like it's a job it's something I wake up in the morning and I'm happy to you know wake up come to the salon train mm-hmm. my students mm-hmm. you know make people beautiful yes. this is something I love yeah but we all have those days mm-hmm. where you know you're feeling low you you feel like ah today I I don't even go to work We all have those moments. Yeah. Yeah, but it was a proud moment for mom and for you. It's also it's it's more than a proud moment. It's an achievement for me because you know those days were days that you know there there were no jobs. You couldn't get a job easily. There was so much struggle and I just can't imagine what I would have been doing if I didn't follow my yeah. you know yeah. following on your passion. Yeah. So here comes 2016. Yeah. The defining year. Yes. Was was everything you imagined did it come true? Did you I'm going to open my business, clients mm-hmm. will come <laughs> every day it's bookings after yeah. bookings. Is yeah. that is that what happened? Actually for me mm. as I'm telling you it was a journey of growing growing a clientele. So it wasn't so bad. I would say the challenges of my business now started coming after because remember already we are deciding to open a bigger space because you know we have clients flowing yes. you know the business is doing well um i have i have these employees that i have trained you know it takes time to also train employees and mm. and all that kind of stuff receptionists makeup artists so everything was going nice you know we are we're going for house calls we're making money everyone is happy employees are doing fine yeah. until one day when you know st- things started going south you know so one day a client just calls me she 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 just came from the states she's come to buy hair yeah i direct her i'm like that day i was in i was out for a house call so mm. i told her just go to the salon talk to this person she will sort you out So the client comes gets the hair and you know sends the money and she leaves comes and pick the hair after it's ready and she um travels back to US So one time I'm like ah let me do a follow up on that client so I call her I'm like ah by the way did you get your hair do you like it nini ni Yeah I did um yeah I love it but there was one thing I noticed you know all the payments were going to a certain number you know and I'm like 
um, what do you mean? She's like, yeah, I came there, did a pedicure, a manicure, my makeup was done, the hair was installed, it was nice, we even took pictures. But um, when I went to the reception to pay, um, to your till number, they told me the till is not working, just do the payment where? On a phone number. So I, I asked her, I boost share with me that number they sent you. So when I compared, it was the girl's number, the, the, the hairstylist number. So that is when now I started doing my research on, you know, how employees can steal from you. Because initially, you know, when you're doing so well, you don't look into those kind of things. You don't want problems with your employees. You're, you're not looking for, for that kind of problem. You trust them. You want to show them I trust them. Yeah, you, you, you trust them. You know, you have given them the mandate to you not know, deal with your clients. Kumbe in the back of, the, of your mind, they are doing their, <coughs> their own thing. Mm. So yeah, that's now when I started following up. So I, I told my manager then, let's not do anything. Let's just start seeing how it's going. So maybe, usually we close the salon at 6.37. So you'd see Kumbe, they will book clients even up to 8, 9, 10, and then they'll pocket that money. Or in the morning, they'll book clients. Because, you know, even I had put the, the right measures like CCTVs, POS systems to, you know, just ensure you're putting in the right, you know, systems for mm, your business. Mm, mm. But these things I tell you, they do not work. If you don't have trust for the um, employees, employees there is re- they will always they always find a way. Even when you have all the systems, because sweetheart, out of muka wamkia CCTV, even a meeting on the CCTV, when you're you know when you're eating on the you're, you're watching, mm. you just need trustworthy mm. um, employees. Mm. So once I find, by the time I was finding out, those guys had almost uh, taken me to a bad place. Walikuwa karibu wanimalizie biashara yangu. I think that was in 2018 or something. And mind you, these are people, you know, I had trained, I, you know, I had really put a lot of invest, investment on them. But anyway, they were about 15 employees. So it was, like it was even a whole, it was a cartel. By the way, that is one thing I even, train my students on because I've been there, done that. So I know this, what happens in this business, yeah? So even my students, when they open their own salons, I, I tell them, be very careful with employees, do this, do that, you know? I tell them what to do and how to, you know, protect themselves from this kind of people. Mm. Because the same employees, once I choose at them, are the ones that went outside there to, you know, they will always uh, say bad things about your company, about you, about, they will just be malicious and do everything, mm. you know? Mm. And the, the biggest challenge with the service industry is that, you see, if, if, this, if you are my employee and you are doing my nails, today if you move from my salon and go to another place, you will move, you know, with the nail tech who used to do your nails. So I also lost a lot of clients in the oh. midst of all this. So that was a really hard time for me, you know. Sometimes I get emotion. Really. I really uh-huh. get emotional mm-hmm. when I when I think about you know I would have just closed down in 2018 my business really you know it went down and before I let them go I, ha- I had to sit down talk to my mom you know I was scared to to like lose these people you know <sighs> Because how do you fire people who know each and every corner of your business? I really get emotional, Lynn. Like, I really <clears throat> even cry. Even my friends, they think I'm this tough person. But I had to, you know, deal with that situation. I had to deal with that situation. So I talked to my mom. My mom told me, the more, the more you keep them there, the more the cartel is growing. I had, that time I had a cleaner. They had really, this cleaner was a really nice girl, I'll never forget, her name was Esther. So Esther was pinned to the ground like Esther, I wish one day Esther would come and give her testimony. Esther was told to never talk. You know, Ile, you're in a group of more than 10, 15 people. That's a lot. They're, they're a cartel. So if they tell you not to talk, not to say anything, you will just keep quiet. She always, you know, try, trying to show me hints of, eh, Appa, by the way, this something is happening, you know. They had made her seclude herself. I even used to wonder why she's like always alone. When I'm trying to find out, she's like, 
when I ask them, they're like, ah, this girl is, she's bad, you know. They will, they wanted to push her out of the business so that, mm. you know, mm. as he was mm. But anyway, God, God was good. God gave me strength. I spoke to my mom. My mom was like, even if you keep them, things will not get better. Just get rid of these people, get a new team, you know, get a new team. So yeah, that's how I, 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 I actually got an OB from Kilimani. It was a whole case. Police walikuwa meja uku. But then I said, um, I'm not at it. I really like going to publicize things on, on social, social media. media. I have never spoken about this issue before. But I felt like it's important for me to speak about it in my journey. Because I'm pretty sure even other employees like me go through the same. Yeah. The best thing about my business is that I'm also very much involved with the business. I, I do the makeup, I do the training, so I'm very much here. So I'm, I can imagine for those bosses who, you know, they're not in their business, maybe you're juggling two, you're maybe an eight to five, then you have a salon on the side, or maybe you're selling clothes, you know, unaibiwa, even when you have those systems, but unaibiwa. Mm. So I'd really like to, to, you know, to talk to employees to just try and, you know, put themselves in the em em employer's shoes because even them one day they'll open their mm. their own businesses. Mm. They wouldn't want anything like that done to them. Mm. Yeah, That must have been such a fallback. Like it, it was really a fallback. Um, th that time was a time like I was really, you know, selling hair a lot, um, importing hair a lot and kumbe. The, the money is, you know, I, I, I wasn't seeing like the profits, the profits that I should have been seeing mm -hmm. because when I opened this place, I was making a lot of good hair profits. But all of a sudden, when this team came, it's like, okay, it's, we're not breaking even. But anyway, I got rid of them. I, I, I even said, I even, you know, just decided I don't want Vurugano or police all the time. Um, because they were actually, my clients sent, sent me statements. Um, you know, it was a whole uh, investigation. So like we had like Unapata client and I said, Ma, each time I've come to your salon, the, the guy tells me to send to their number. Tilifani. Yeah, Tilifani, just sent to my number. So then they will decide, okay, what they will, you know, write to the books and what they will take home. So yeah, that's how it went, Lean, and I'm, I'm so, grateful. Yeah. Sweetheart, we're still standing. How many years later? For almost now. Yes, then like now, even with Corona, you know, a lot of things happened, mm. but we're still standing, we're still surviving, mm. we're still pushing. Mm. So it's not easy. This journey is not easy. Mm. Yeah. I feel like the essence of this conversation mm -hmm. was even to deal with this part where you are betrayed by your employees, right? Yeah. Because you trust people. Yeah. You are like, I trust you. Mm -hmm. I want the best for you. Yeah. And then someone betrays you. Yeah. I want to hear about your bounce back. Huh? Yeah. What did you do different? What yeah. measures did you put in place yeah. did you get an accountant yeah. did you like what are the measures that you put in place now yeah. Yeah. after that mm -hmm. and because you see the the problem with this business yeah. especially the hair and what you are in na watu wao mimi nimeishi kutengenezwa nyo let's join na mtu mmoja unamfuatanga tu akienda hapa akienda eh kila yeah. like so yeah. for for you <clears throat> when did the client start coming back or walienda Kabisa, so, and what yeah. measures did you put in place to safeguard mm. your business so, and your profits? Yeah, so of course, the first thing after I changed them, mm. I got a new manager. That mm. time I was doing everything myself. I was the manager, I was the everything. Yeah. So I got a new manager. Mm -hmm. and then after getting a new manager, of course, now my manager advised that we should get new employees. You know, people with values, people yes. with, you know, like mtu lazima ujue, ametoka wapi, yeah. alitoka kwa nini. So even when bosses are doing these things, they need to understand about this employer, employee they are getting. And then also remember, people used to come to my salon also mm. because of foina, yeah. you know. So some of my clients who are loyal took, uh, they stood. Yeah, they stood by me mm. and they stuck to uh, my salon because... Mm. When I brought other new people, I trained them. You know, this, this thing of training also is very tasking. So you have to keep training new employees each time you bring someone. Mm -hmm. So I trained them and luckily wakakacha paraka. Mm -hmm. So employees is a roller coaster because utapata moja ni mzuri, mwingine akona issues, you know. So it's it's really a roller coaster. There's always that one egg. Yes, mm -hmm. there's always that one who, you know, 
yeah so mm. yeah i bounced back i just you know prayed to god did all these things that i did took all these measures you know of bringing the mm. new manager new employees mm. and you know the the clients that stood by me yeah so yeah then i bounced back i started after you know, how long uh bouncing back yeah. <laughs> bouncing back you know like the moment you think you've bounced back then corona hit us oh, you know on. so a lot of people were scared of coming to the salon we had to close everything was shut down our 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 landlords did not you know reduce anything for us but i don't know aki by the i i really don't know how we made it but god has been faithful you know mm. god has been faithful and also me me as a boss i do a lot of things in the salon i'm not just a salon you know i'm a tutor as i told you yes i have beauty products i sell beauty products you are beauty products i am beauty products thank yes. you <laughs> yeah, yeah yeah so at least all this juggling mm. when this sa- salon side is not doing so well maybe the products will do better yeah. when when maybe maybe weddings are doing well Uh, maybe something else is not doing so well so mm. it was a juggle of all these things yeah. so i only even teach my students to be all round mm. if you can do everything do if you can i mean as long as it's under the business thing if it's nails do if it's hair do if it's makeup do so that is why i have like three packages for my students mm. when they come here maybe mtu amekuja tu ku learn makeup now ambia you can improvise do some hair learn how to make a wig learn, mm. learn where you import hair from learn mm. all these things you mm. can make more money that way yeah. hair has like great profits mm. and stuff yeah so that's how we you know we came back yeah. yeah personally what do you do or what do you think you are really good at me yes i can do makeup yeah. i can do nails even though nails of course is a bit tasking yes so i leave it for the nail techs yeah. but i do makeup and hair and hair yes the hair part yes because for me personally i think the first time i encountered yes. your posts on social media yeah. it was the hair yeah. i saw the hair and i was like this is beautiful yes. hair yes. how did you start when like mm. in the hair business um so the hair business was something i wanted to improvise mm. and you know like that time um i had a friend also who was doing hair so we trained each other she really <laughs> wanted to learn how to do makeup so i trained her makeup she trained me hair and then now i just started selling hair and also it has been a passion of mine i used yeah. to do my mom's hair my grandma's hair a lot like nyumba yetu ilikuwa nyumba ya wasichana so you can imagine hair also is something i loved doing mm. i can even plait your hair lean i can you know Yeah so hair is mm-hmm. yeah is something I've always done. Yeah. yeah. Have you gotten to that point where you manufacture your own hair? Yes, I actually have because right now with Foina Beauty yes. we are manufacturing everything for Foina Beauty. Mm-hmm. In fact towards the maybe me the end of the year uko September we are looking to add even more products. Yeah. for cuz now we only have um, lipsticks and eyeshadows and eyeshadows and highlighter. Yeah. So yeah, we're looking even to restock more products. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so Yeah. Mm. Do you think the Kenyan the community they mm-hmm. are receptive to mm-hmm. products that are mm-hmm. locally made like I think they are. Uh-huh. I think they really are and especially if you understand what you're doing. Like especially with my products, I just you know, I have dealt with so many products you understand <laughs> so i have dealt with other products from us from uk so i know what is a good and a bad product yeah. so even when i'm manufacturing i know what i am manufacturing i know mm. what i want so yeah people are receptive to our local products they're supporting us and in fact i think that's the route i want to take in future mm-hmm. i want to have like a beauty school yes and deal with products yeah because sometimes it really drains me to deal with employees yeah. <laughs> like <laughs> like like managing a whole salon is yeah. is not for the faint hearted yeah. first of all yeah. yeah but in future i want to be a, a tutor mm-hmm. just train have a proper beauty school like you know do beauty school Yeah. like a beauty academy yes. what i'm doing now mm-hmm. i believe it's growing one day it's gonna be big mm. yeah oh, when when you meet your former employees quad yeah. streets kuna jua tu sema watu ukutana mnafanya ngaje ah hata sijakutana nao by the way honestly mm. sijakutana nao because mm. you know if, uh, if i'm going for a wedding 
I mean, it's team for Ina all the way. So I'll go with my team, the team that I'm mm. using at mm. the moment. Mm. Yeah, so I don't know what I would do, but I am not a, a vengeful person. I will tell you that for sure. Mm -hmm. I forgave them. By the way, I forgave them. I even sometimes, uh, there's a time I was really busy and had no proper makeup artist. So I'm talking to Liz, I even used to recommend them at some time because I'm like... Uh. I know these are the only people that will give you the, pro the, the proper, yeah if, it's, for. yeah, if it's hair um, installation, if it's makeup, if it's nails, that time, you know, before I even like, but you forgive and move on. Yes. That is the only way to live mm. in this life. Yeah. yeah. That's how I feel, honestly. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, mm. and then you said you mentioned something. Corona came, yeah. but hey, business is booming. Oh, Kwafuina business is booming. Uh -huh. We just opened a new franchise somewhere. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, honestly, let me tell you something, Lynn, about yes. me. Yeah. If I'm in, if be sure if I'm introducing something to you, be sure that thing is not new. Like, but I have had for Ina beauty products. I think for more than four years but I just recently launched because I wanted to test the market. I wanted to feel prepared. I wanted to feel like my products are doing well in the market for me to, to launch a whole retail shop, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah, so I think, yeah, I had gotten to that point. Yeah. I was confident. Um, right now we have sold out on a lot of stuff. Oh yeah, for real. At Awuko CG, but our suppliers have shipped out some more stuff. Yes. So we're yeah. expecting to receive the stuff this week. Mm. Yeah, so this week we are, you know, we'll we'll restock. Yes. Yeah, but we have a few products at the shop. The yeah. shop is really gorgeous. It's yeah. beautiful. It's beautiful. It's be yeah, uh, it's up on Riara Road. Yes. Eh, up on Sebuleni Center. Yeah. Yeah, it's a beautiful shop. I enjoy going there. Mm -hmm. I enjoy working with the lady there. She's very committed. Mm -hmm. She was my student, by the way. Oh. Esther. She Esther was my student. So when How when does I that make you feel? It makes me proud. Like that is what I live for, and I I love working with my students. Yeah, I love working with my students because I know, you know, Mali, ni me train. I know what they need. Mm. Yeah, so I love working with my students. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So you mm. know, for me, whenever a business person says we are sold out, where well, that's a it's a big deal. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's a bit, it's not that it's a small deal. Yeah, it's, it's a big deal. It Would is. you consider your retail shop mm. another milestone for you? It is a great milestone. Mm. Let me tell you, mm. because I love dealing with products. Now, as I'm growing, I am like leaning more towards production mm -hmm. than service, because I feel like these students I'm training now need to be the ones you know giving a service because they want to grow they want you know to have the same journey or even a better one than mm -hmm, i did mm -hmm. yeah so now my work is to like train them mentor them you know tutor them and then as i'm doing bigger things mm. honestly i don't want to be in my 40s still doing the same thing mm. still carrying my kid from one house to the other no. honestly that is not my goal yeah. so right now i feel like i have achieved i have grown now i can do something else like mm. production of yes. my products you yeah. know yeah, ni kwe Kaili ama Rihanna. Amen. Ni kae kwa nyumba pia mini enjoy, you know, my work. And it's possible. Mm -hmm. Imagine, it's very possible. It's, it's very much possible. That's my goal, actually. Yeah. Yeah, I want financial freedom. I want to. Uh, let's talk about that thing. Mm -hmm. You know, every time someone <laughs> asks me, like, yeah. me, my goal is not to be rich by the way. Yeah. Like, I'm just telling people, exactly. it's the financial freedom. Exactly. I just want financial freedom. That's it. Unaona, That's me, I want it. to be able, if I want, I say, I want a G-Wagon, I am going to I get a G-Wagon. Exactly, exactly. Like, it's just that financial freedom yeah. and yeah. stuff. So it's what true. what else does Foina do apart from beauty, other um, business? You know, I love fashion, of yes. course. So I have a, a a store for clothes. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, I I have a store called Boss Babes. Um, it's up in Kilimani. Yeah. So yeah, we sell you know professional, classy women suits mm. from uh, Turkey. I'm a woman. Yes, honey. No, Please like, visit that shop. Thanks. <laughs> I'm, I'm we have nice things, by the way. Mm. We restock. We restock. Um, mm. You know, when I started that business, I started it as a side hustle because already I was so busy with the salon. But I started Boss Babes because, you know, all the time you need to look the part. Classes in Meanza, Hauna. Is this a Boss Babe? Uh, this one is just from one of the shops that I support. Yeah. It's called Key Fashions. Okay. Key Fashions is also for my students. Wait, so, what? Yes. By the way, let me tell you, somehow, my students, 
almost want to you like they follow what their mentor is doing like she has a beautiful store apa kilimani bado naivas yes yeah so she sells outfits for women suits jumpsuits shoes A- handbags arito alice alice eh unamjua msimjumpe shout out oh alice my yes. beautiful students yeah. i love you from key fashions yes. what i'm wearing today is from key fashion yeah. it's a lovely jumpsuit it's beautiful it's beautiful look mm. at the I detailing love I love, love it. you know it's yes. a beautiful it's jumpsuit a beauty. i feel you know beautiful and trim kidogo yes you know bl- black makes you look trim yes yeah she's doing amazing and she was your student she was my student Oh, yeah. Alice, I'm proud of you by the way. Yes. Usually I tell them if you see like makeup is not working immediately, you can do something mm-hmm. else. Mm-hmm. I will support you. Kama ni kukupostia. And you know she I'm one of her influencers. She pays me for, you know, just to wear her yes. and tag her. Eh, and watu waanze kulipa influencers. Exactly. Yes. <laughs> I know. I, I'm just happy to see your student is paying yeah, you. I'm proud you know, of her, like uh, me too. Mm-hmm. Mami, I'm proud of you. Yeah. I'm proud that Mm-hmm. the one working at the yes. retail shop yes. Esther, yes. Is your Esther is your student Alice is your student that speaks yeah, so highly yes. of you thank you that thank speaks you. so highly of yeah, you yeah she sells some good things mm. over there yeah. back to boss babes yeah. and the importance of having a side hustle yeah. even when you have your main, main hustle, hustle. Yeah. why are side hustles important in business side hustles are important um, and as they say you cannot have one business so for me boss babes came at a be just before corona mm. like i was i just started importing these clothes and then corona came uh, everything was shut down you could not even import but can i tell you um it's boss beds it's is what made me survive during that time yeah so yeah when when one hustle is not working another one it akushikilia mm. yeah mm. yeah so right now it's the salon doing the most you know yeah now boss beds tunataka kuleta new stock because mm-hmm. we were not trying to clear the old stock. Yeah. So yeah, it's important to have a, a, a side hustle. It is important. Yes. yes. Wow, you are mm. doing it. I am trying. What's it? Kogeria. Na kogeria. Kogeria. This is kogeria. <laughs> yes. You are trying. Thank Now, you. This is beautiful. Thank like you, come on, you see I mm. people keep telling me I also have a problem. I don't yeah. know how to celebrate my but wins. Me too. Yeah, but mm. lately like if I do something yeah. kidogo, yeah. I'm just I like I'm able to look myself now and be like mm. I'm proud of myself. Yeah. I'm proud of the small wins in life ah, because you've come along with yeah, it. Yeah, man, what we are talking about you. Sana, what we are the struggle. What we are the struggle. Yeah, Alice, no lean gugi ametoka this overnight success. This yes. microwave. Yeah. Uh, mm-hmm. You know. But, But you they, see, yeah, it's sometimes never. it's important to mm. for them to also understand the struggle the journey. because most people also just want to discredit um you know people mm. just from nowhere yeah. like someone will just come and say oh who you sio anafanya biashara gani you know people will discredit you for whatever makes them you know get sleep have at you night. felt discredited before? i get discredited a lot a lot a lot a lot but usually I, that is nothing that moves me because i know my journey and that is what is the most important mm. thing usually i really don't care about what people say that much i really don't pay mind to what people say that much mm. because I, i know my journey and i know where i've come from i know yeah. my struggles and usually i'm like okay fine just like you said you want to wake up one day and get yourself a g wagon yeah green yeah green yeah go be gray mimi nataka ya black you see yeah black ah. spotless in a shine hivi mpaka ina blind haters ah. drive to ivy hiyo ndo mimi nataka ma haters muko wapi <laughs> but are blinded around in a blind haters yeah so yeah, yeah that's why i work so hard yeah. that's why i keep pushing mm-hmm. yeah yeah mm-hmm. what do you do when you feel low because there are those mm. moments in life you, yeah. it's your passion yeah. you love what mm-hmm. you do mm-hmm. but then there are those instances where you will just wake up and you feel like giving mm-hmm. up yeah. where, what do you do when that happens I, i'm such a a, a, a mommy's baby mm. Yo, so so most of the time I will call my mom you know we'll talk and then I'll just feel at peace Aww. you know I'll just feel happy like I'll feel like my whole year has now been made up for you know mm. yeah so that she's she's the thing that keeps me going and also I pray like you know I pray and you know ask God for guidance on certain things yeah. you know 
yeah, what else do I do? I will maybe decide to do something fun that I love doing. Maybe go for a drive. Yes, I was maybe gonna go ask. somewhere. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, you you love you love taking drives out of town. Yeah, I'll mm -hmm. just look maybe for one friend. We just drive out of town, mm -hmm. go book ourselves somewhere, enjoy the weekend, and come back feeling revamped and re-energized yeah yeah wow mm. good so you take time off work That's you have you. to i have struggled with that a couple of times me and too. i've noticed me it's too. really important it is very disappear important. disappear and yes. don't feel guilty because usually like i used to feel like if i go for one weekend maybe a saturday sunday come back on monday i'll come back feeling so guilty mm. like i have not been at work for the weekend like now what am i doing you mm. know but I mean, sometimes you just have to, you know, take breaks, re recharge. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Very important. Mm. Yeah. When we said, uh, mm. uh, when you talked about being discredited, yeah. you also brought in the aspect of microwave success. Yeah. And we live in, in a society where people think, by the way, ah, mm. cash or me, na me. Yeah. And then if they don't make it, yeah. if, even if someone posts a YouTube uh, video yeah. and it gets 20 views, yeah. they stop at that. Exactly. What would you like to tell? people especially about you know mm. persistence consistency, consistency and yeah. just putting in the work Effort, Akuna yeah. Akuna. just putting in the yeah. work yeah the one mm. thing that i grew up knowing is that nothing comes for free nothing is easy my mom instilled that in me you know and now i see it like nothing mm. even those people that will discredit you and say you do you do you know you get your money easy See, I'm like, see, they try it. If if people if if money comes from branches, please just go you know. So nothing comes easy. Mm. Um, I talk to my students, I tell them consistency is key, you know, because some some of them give up, you know, just along the way they're like, you know. So the same excitement they come here when they're doing their classes is the same excitement I want them to have even a year or two later, mm. you know, mm. because this is the career and the passion that they chose. So, yeah, you said it all. Consistency, persistency, all those things mm. are needed mm. to make it in life. Mm. Yeah. Hakuna charaisi. Hakuna shortcuts. Mtu wasi kudanganye. Ta walo nasemanga wakona sponsors. I'm sure pia au hawananga shortcuts, you know. I'm pretty sure hakuna shortcuts. That's quite life, Akuna honestly. Yes, I've yeah. been a shortcut. In my whole life, nothing has been handed um, easily. I have worked for everything. So I, I always mutu many corner shortcuts. You know, Sijia Nomba ki face mountain gun at one year, but I, I feel like you know some hard work is required. Yes. Yeah. Hiya. So all work. Mm you know you're here mm. you've been successful yeah hey, sasa, mm. uh, <laughs> you know i work with no play mix for in a dull very girl. dull uh, so very dull up to relationship mm. to heartbreaks um, ah, can i <laughs> <laughs> honestly hey can i ini can i and um yeah i've been in a couple of relationships yeah. um I don't like to like publicize, mm. but yeah, I've been in happy relationships. Um, but you see, once you stop being happy, mm. you end them. Me honestly, sinanga chill time at ya ku kuku unhappy. So if I'm not un if I'm un unhappy about something, I will just end it mm. even like immediately. Cut mm. off. I cut off people. Mm -hmm. I like, don't just you know. Yeah. So that is what has maybe that's I'm single. <laughs> But anyway, that really doesn't bother me. You know, there are some people who can't stay single. Me, yeah. me honestly, I can be single year in, year out and yeah. still be okay mm. until I get that person. Yeah. Yeah, and I still feel like I've not gotten that person. What's your ideal person? Uh, what you're looking for? Sisi ni wale tunambio, you're looking too much. Maka yu party. Um, I just want someone. <laughs> you're looking too much. You're looking too much. It's Michael B. Jordan. <laughs> no one that were party. Me, yeah, I just want someone. Mm, who mm. is um, I mean someone we have a mutual understanding of things you know someone who also is on maybe the same level as yes. I am yeah. in life or higher yeah and uh, what else someone we can grow together mm. you know just grow together yeah. because and respect each other yeah yeah. And I think someone who supports your passion. Exactly. Because you sweep at them to when you know, like to a panya new father. Exactly. So uh, exactly. Uh, what do you, what do you want? Why yeah. You people like work? that, people like that push you down. Yes. And you know, you start now seeing your, your dreams and goals mm. just 
you know, evaporates through yes. thin air. Yeah. So yeah. 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 You have to have that partner who appreciates everything you mm. do. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Does mm. Wayne read? Ah, um, I don't. Do you I will watch not TV? lie. I love crime crime shows, crime documentaries. Like which one? I love um, Crime Watch yes. <laughs> daily. Crime Watch yes. daily. Yeah. I love. I think I have watched all the documentaries on on Netflix. Yeah. Especially the crime. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm not a criminal. <laughs> I mean, I just. No, but love. I've watched them too. And I, you I've, see, I've watched them. Yes, too. I yes. love human interest, interest stories, stories as yes. I told you. Yeah. So those are the things that fascinate me. Mm -hmm. So I, I, you'll not find me watching at your at your series or mm. do your movie like catch me dead but let me tell you i enjoy crime shows yes i enjoy crime shows that's yeah. the only thing i watch yeah the only thing and now music 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 and crime shows yeah. please don't suji will see me again tv and i think that's why even i i don't date a lot because you know when you're dating you have to be considerate yeah suji your partner wants to watch suji so suji so suji series gani ama chozi me i'm like i want who ma who was mad that <laughs> Okay, that's and I'm, I'm kidding, but yeah. I love crime shows. Yeah, I love crime shows. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah. Film writer, artist. You say you love music too. Make um, I love Nicki Minaj. Okay. <laughs> I know it's cliche, maybe, it, yes. but I love her. It's I not love cliche. her music. Yeah, I love how she looks. Mm. Um, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, who else do I like? Kenyan. Here in I, Kenya. Kenya, I love Otile's music. Okay. Otile Brown. Yeah. Drama queen, Modoni drama. Modoni drama queen. Yes, I, I love how artistic. Her music. Yes, she is. I think she, she's very artistic. Yeah, I like how artistic very she is. Artistic. She's very artistic. I think there's something about her. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. She's she's a beautiful woman. I love her music. She's super talented. And even when Diki Mani, when she was singing, oh, especially the song Wendy? with Gilad. Do you know yes, that? Yes, I love that song. Like that that song. I when, mm -hmm. whenever I miss her, yeah. I watch you that watch song. You watch it, and mm. I think she. Yeah. I don't know where Wendy. is. I miss you. Imagine. I think she's now a family she's woman. A family. You know, so I think sometimes in life priorities change. Yeah. And you know, I feel like before you get there, just do something. Because mm. even me, the reason I'm taking my time with, you know, commitment, marriage, kids, is because I still feel like I have a long way to go. I'm still not where I want to be. Where do you wanna be? I mean, financial freedom again. Mm -hmm. I don't want to be waking up every day, going to work, at the, thinking all oh, bills and stuff. You know, mm -hmm. I want, you know, my money to do the work for me. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. And and I and I want to continue mentoring these young people mm -hmm. to understand that, you know, they need to work smart, work hard, mm -hmm. and all those things. Yeah, yeah. street smart, killer yeah. pal. Killer mm -hmm. Yeah. What legacy are you looking to leave in behind? How do you want to be remembered? If mm. one day people talk about you, yeah. how would you want them to remember you? I want people to remember me as, um, you know, um, a person who, you know, mentored people, a person who loved people, because I love people. A lot of people think, you know, you, you just want to be everywhere, you just want to be around everyone. But I love, I love making people happy, making people smile. I love, I just love happiness, you know. And also what else do I want people to remember me for? Mm. I just want people to just remember me for me, you know. I, I, I don't want to like fake anything. What you see is what you get, yeah. Mm. And of course I want to leave a legacy. Like I want the kids of my kids to be, you know, happy and have like secure futures. And and start such kind of things, mm. yeah, mm. yeah. You want the kids, the generation, the generation to be like, hey, my grandma, Ali call them say, both teachers and all them by day. Mm. Oh, them say, ni kwa juyake. I don't have to toil so hard, you yes, know. Yes. I'm really, I'm really working for my, mm. for my grandkids and yes. my, like my future, the future generation for Foina. Mm. You see, you know, Mary Kay. Mary Kay is a yeah. beauty brand. Yeah. 
she died a long time ago, but we're still using her products. Her family is still eating from what she left. Yes. So I want the same for, for Inner Beauty and yeah. for my generation to come. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 I, I want to wind up. And yes. I want people, you to give people details on, you say you train people. Yes. And I think for me, that's what my audience would love to, because mm. you look the part who wouldn't want to be trained by that. you, by the way, <laughs> I mean. Yes. But before I do, is there anything you wanted us to touch on that we not touched on. Hey, Lid, I think we've touched on everything. For real? <laughs> <laughs> you know this is the first proper sit down i have done Aww. and you know lean i love your shows thank you and i told you one one day i dreamt of you interviewing me thank so you. i mean it has come to pass so i am happy and cheers <laughs> cheers i believe one day mm -hmm. Everything we envision and we dream about will come to pass. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. Thanks for coming. Thanks for inviting no, me. No, you thanks for having me. Like, yeah. I, I, mean, I want you to win. Yeah. I keep telling you we passed by your shop, the one at yeah. Ariara. Yeah. Oh. And I just told my friend, God, mm -hmm. look at this woman. Thank you. Look at how beautiful this place is. Thank and you. I just took, I don't know how to wait. I yeah. just took my phone yeah. and I called. Immediately. Yeah, I and, love yeah that. we go home and I just yeah. took my phone and I called. And there was such an amazing lady at the reception. Yeah. And that's I asked Esther. her, that's, that's oh, Esther. Oh, the one you called. Yeah, the one oh, I called. Oh, that's the salon. Uh, line. It's, I, that's I think it's the salon. Yeah. yeah. And she was so kind. She took mm -hmm. a message. And yeah. so when you called me, yeah. I was just like, see how God works. As in this interview has happened in less than a week. Yeah, of in less you than a call, week of me. me. Yeah, and I want yeah. you so to win. So it was meant to happen. It was meant to like happen. I want yeah. you to win. Thank you. For me, I think the take home is mm -hmm. you've also challenged me and inspired me. Yeah. I want one day someone to be like um, mm -hmm. my bo the person who trained me yes. is wearing one of, of my, my and pieces. it's supporting because you had a choice. Yeah. You had a choice of showing up here. In my Boss suits. Like I'd be like, I'm wearing foina, foina, hey, foina. foina, eyelashes, foina. Yeah, I think the support is important yeah. also because yeah. I remember when I started, the support was overwhelming. So anyway, I can support somebody else, yeah. I go full blown support. Yeah, yeah. You Anyone who allows me to support them, mm -hmm. that is. Yeah, yeah. So uh, uh, before I ask you where people can find you, yes. uh, of course, I know you said your mom has been such a huge. <laughs> you know, contributor yes, to the has. person that you are. Yes. So if you could look at that camera right now mm -hmm. and just talk to mom. <laughs> Hi, mommy. <laughs> uh, this is such a, this moment can, I will need tissue. Mm -hmm. I don't want to cry, mm -hmm. but I just want to tell the woman that, you know, brought me into existence that I love her. Thank you for being there for me. Thank you for supporting me. Thank you for showing me the way. Thank you for encouraging me through the hard times, you know, the good times. And I promise to be there for you until, you know, the wheels fall off for both me and you. I love you. Mwah. Mwah. <laughs> Your mama. I love yeah, your I love that woman to Aww. death, Yani. Mm. Yeah. Mm. I want to continue making her proud. Munakanga sisters. Munambuango if every time. Hey. Yeah. Kila sa. Kila Especially sa. when we like both have makeup. Yes. You know. Yeah. 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 She, she's a she's a nice mom. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And to yourself. What would mm. you like to tell yourself? I want to tell encourage myself to keep going, mm -hmm. to never give up to continue uh, mentoring and you know tutoring and um to work on the goals that i have set for myself mm -hmm. and to you know yeah. just be there for everyone mm -hmm. and ensure like everyone around me is happy that's my my main goal mm -hmm. yeah yeah mm -hmm. and to everyone watching you yeah. hey, by day people have dreams yeah the people especially mm -hmm. in the beauty industry yeah. they're like i want to have my own hairline <laughs> yeah i want to have my salon yeah my pedicure mm -hmm. section my manicure yeah i remember we got in and one of my people asked me ikiti hey. <laughs> <laughs> Ita <inazunguka aje. laughs> <laughs> you know, but this is yeah. a dream for so many for so people, many. but yeah. not many people. Mm. People have just given up along yeah. the way. To yeah. anyone watching you and they are a bit discouraged yeah. right now. I want to encourage them. Mm -hmm. I want them to actually go to my Instagram and watch a video I posted, I think yesterday, of my journey. A lot of people were shocked because I showed them like where I started, you know, the steps. And let them not give up quickly because... I mean, you know, the, the quicker you give, 
the more time it takes you to get to your to your goals so the earlier you start the better so don't give up and um, I'm actually, eventually, I think I want to do a program for also people who cannot afford my classes, you know, like do a program for them and uh, maybe see what we can do. Yeah, can but you do but that? for now, yeah, mm -hmm. Lynn, we can actually work on mm -hmm. that, you know, mm -hmm. to educate these people, the less fortunate. Yeah, yeah I think we, re we can do that. Yeah. Well, yes, maybe in future. in future, but for now, I'm mm. at Amimi, um, you know, yeah. training and, you know, um, so yeah, let them not give up and they, they can join my classes. Mm -hmm. I can, you know, mentor them, hold yeah. their hand, tell them this and this is what you, you, you're you going to do here. Mm. And if they follow through to it, they will get there yes. because I have seen many get there, my students. So even the ones who have not gotten there. I want to continue encouraging them. Even the ones who maybe go to other beauty schools, don't give up. Mm. This thing is a journey. You you will have your own journey. So make sure you don't give up. Don't give up quick. Mm. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Yeah. I love that. Mm. Thank you Thanks, for being Lynn. this like I know. Mm. I, I, you see how effortless this was. This was so effortless. Ah, thank you. You mm. you actually made me calm. Nah, this was so <laughs> this was so effortless. Mm -hmm. And we thank you for taking your time. And now where can people find you? If people want to enroll, come get yeah. their hair done, yeah. nails. I know on social media you need no yeah. introduction. There, yeah. <laughs> but maybe there are people who are watching this for the first time. Yeah. How can people find you? Um people can go to my Instagram. Yeah. Go to my Instagram. It's for inner hair collection. Yeah. That's my main page mm -hmm. where I also do a lot of influencing there yes. so but if you want to see other things like we have the beauty page for inner beauty we have the nail page for inner nail bar and finally we have the for inner beauty academy yes that is the page you should go to check out what we do there we train we mentor we hold our students hand up to the end yeah and yeah make sure you visit those pages we also have a fashion boutique called Boss Beds. Yeah. Make sure you visit that as well. Yeah. It's a beautiful shop with amazing stylish clothes, just like the owner. Thank you. Hey, Tusha. <laughs> hey, hey, and you can also watch this show. It's an amazing show yes. brought to you by an amazing person, Woman. just like the owner. Yes, so mm. by anyway, no, true jo jokes aside, yeah. I appreciate mm -hmm. you. I Thank always say you. the sky is not even the limit uh, yeah. for us anymore. Yeah. And I see how you have been able to navigate. Yeah. You know, sometimes I wake up and I just see your name and I'm like, can people mm. just talk about the business person yeah. she is? Yeah. You know, can people yeah. just honestly just also talk about the kind of business this woman yeah. is doing so i yeah. uh, go out there and conquer Thank you know you. if mary Kay is what you look up to and that's yeah. the legacy you want to leave to behind live. for your generations yes. and generations and so generations mm -hmm. uh, the bible says just knock yes the door shall be open. open ask thank and you. it shall be given yeah. unto you yes. and thank you for taking your time also thank and you, you just letting us in yeah. on your story we thank appreciate you. that thank you yeah I so mimi hapa nita kujia nyuele kucha kucha mingine zote hizo hizo hata training on eyebrows hata training kidogo kidogo sawa kama unasema nini kuhusu eyebrows zangu they are really they are perfect na jiona tu nikikuchora yani i've just been i've just been staring at them actually i've not been in this interview i'm just staring si mbaya sana ni poa by the way they are really nice i love the way you shape them like you just comb them you are such a natural beauty lean natural beauty najaribu sisi wengine wetu Imagine it's not even yeah. a tea. I hate makeup. Mm. I just found myself like, like this. that. I, I just wish. found myself being comfortable. Na freelance to Na freelance to me. I'm proud of that. Yes. Yeah. And I'm also proud of you. But but also even me, yeah. I enjoy my moments where I have no wig, no yeah. hair. I mean yeah. no what? The no makeup. Yeah. Because I mean you're relaxing yeah. sometimes, you're just chilling. Yeah. But it doesn't yeah. mean that I don't want to rock this. I it's know. I'm going to be able to do it. 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 <laughs> anyway, guys, we have to end up. Yeah, thank, thank you. you for allowing thank us to come even into your business. Thank it's you. beautiful. Thank you. And I always leave this with each and every guest. Go out there and prosper. Amen. Go out there and conquer. Whatever Amen. desires, even you can't speak in on this interview. Yeah. Whatever, you know, 
that which is in your heart that yes. you just tell God and you tell God alone. Yes, yes. And you're like, by the way, happen, Mungu ni mimi na wewe. Mm. May it come true. Amen. May it come true. Amen, amen, yeah. amen. So my people, kabla ni watokeleze next time, na jo nitakam kani mingara, but that's it for today. <laughs> Thank you so much uh, for tuning in into this episode. And as always, I want to know what's your take home, guys. What have you learned from her journey? And, you know, I always say there's no shame in hard work. First things first. Stop yeah. being stop being ashamed of that which you are trying to do. And I'll keep insisting and telling you that which you are scared of doing, yeah. that which you are ashamed of, that's your gateway to so many things in life. So go out there and uh, chase uh, the world. No, chase your dreams. You know, let the world know your name and there's no shame in it. And of, of course, uh, let me know which other story would you like us to cover. And also if you have your own story, send a summary. My email is right there. And as always, I don't get to do this alone. I do this with the man himself, the legendary camera person and director, Edwin Ochieng. And today, Joshua JKP Amekuja Field. So as you guys, you've been watching him Parliament's desk, I would also want you guys to tell me what you think about the segment and our other team members who take their time, our editor David Moredi for compiling this episode and making sure it reaches you on time. Go out there and chase your dreams. You're Gopem too, and there's no shame in hard work. My name is Lynn Gogi. I appreciate you. Till next time, bye bye.